was thinking, when Breaker would make an amazing ass drama series, it'd be like a 90210-esque or The Hills-esque or Degrassi with more spice Esque type shit, man. That shit would bang. Imagine, a ju- imagine your kids. Yes, you. I know you're young right now, but god damn it, imagine your kids growing up to some windbreaker. Oh, golly, tell me that shit wouldn't be amazing. Tell me that wouldn't be amazing. Okay, okay, picture this. You got Jay. He's like the suave, kind of handsome-ish, nerdy-ish, smart kid that thinks he's better than everybody, you know, and he doesn't really have friends because he's so fucking invested in his stupid-ass books. And then he meets Minu. He's like the opposite. He, you know what I'm saying? He likes partying. He's out there. He he friends with everybody. Everybody fucks with him. He's a cool kid. He gets into fights sometimes, but he's like a lot of people fuck with him because he's the life of the party. You know what I'm saying? He he sees that you got some tricks, you got some skills. He like, yo man, I, I got a gang, I got a crew, you know what I'm saying? They do bikes, they do biking, they do this crazy shit. Come true. You pull up, end up in a crazy race battle with a few folks, end up your life turns upside down. And why it's gonna be like the hills and that is because there's not really one main character. There's not really one main protagonist. Everybody gets the chance to shine. Jay just starts off as the guy that we meet and we follow through his eyes first. But then we, we follow Minu's eyes. Then we follow Vinny's eyes. Then we follow Dom's eye. You know what I'm saying? You have all these characters. And even better, because it's going to be a TV show, you get to watch Mia's life. You get to watch Shelly's life. You get to, you know what I'm saying? It, it switches. Like, the girls get a bit more of attention, too. You know what I mean? So, that's the beauty of it. Just think about it, man. And then, you know, you, you when you meet Dom... Dom is like scary motherfucker, scary guy. Nobody messes with him. He's his parents are gangster, all type of stuff. You're like, oh wait, tell me that would not rock. Tell me Korea wouldn't be popping. Tell me, bro. Imagine that shit. That shit would be so sick. And they got the Yeezys. They can actually rock the Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? Jordans, all of that gear, bape off white, all of that shit. They can be swanking out the park. Come on, tell me that shit ain't saucy. You know what I'm saying? It represents the generation. It represents the generation so accurately. And if you look at TikTok and all those other stuff, biking is huge now, man. Biking is popping. People are doing some of the crazy shit you see in Windbreaker. You're like, nah, that shit ain't possible in real life. Motherfuckers are doing that shit in real life. In the script. I swear to God. London bike scene is insane right now. It's insane right now. Which works perfectly for who? Owen Knight when he's introducing like season four. You have so much potential, you have so much to do, the drama between friends, uh, Minu situation, the hospitalization, you'll be like, oh my god, oh my, bro, I'll be watching that shit with my kids, bro, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I know it's gonna be for like 15, 16 year olds, uh, like, that'll be the age, but obviously adults can easily watch that shit, but I'll be watching that shit with them, like, oh my god, Vinny, no, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'll be like, no, please, me. <laughs> oh, please, Minu, Minu, no, that shit would rock. Tell me that shit is not exciting. I'm very excited. I, I, I don't know, but I'm super excited. That would be such an amazing show. A live action of that would work so well. There's nothing too insane. When it comes to bike stunts and stuff like that, because I know it's hard getting actors to do certain types of stunts, they got the helmets. They got the helmets, right? You know what I'm saying? Just splash somebody with a red wig that does cycling has a similar body frame they do the skills and then do the close-ups with their regular face because i know a lot of these shows suck when it comes to sports like bro like cloak and dagger bro i was watching this man knows how to play basketball in real life and yet in this show this man can't don't know how to dribble a ball man it's so weird like i don't know what the fuck is up with tv show directors they suck ass so let me direct it i'm gonna make sure this bicycle bicycle scene look lit because i'm gonna make sure professional ass cyclists are doing this goddamn stunt you know what i'm saying if whenever possible i'll hire actors that can do these stunts on some tom cruise shit but i'll obviously set them up in like um because you can do green screen pretty easily. TV shows can afford to do green screen if it's like backgrounds and shit. If, when you start doing facial and shit like that, that's too expensive. Like faces and all that shit, that's way too expensive. So just do like, do a setup in, in a safe environment and get them to do the tricks. It's not like they're doing backflips. It's a lot of like hand, like sliding and skidding and stuff that's like, if they fall and they protect it, they cool. 
they can wear knee pads underneath their, 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 their clothes. You know what I'm saying? They can put that shit underneath their clothes. Uh, so, you you know, they wear a lot of swank clothes, which is baggy and shit, some tight jeans, whatever. Have, you know, create new type of protection gear underneath that they, they can fall in and be cool. A lot of times they got helmets on when they're racing. So, they pretty safe anyway. You know what I mean? So, that's what I would go for. But, man, that shit would be so amazing, bro. That shit would be so amazing. The drama, bro. It'd, be, it'd have to be just called a drama. Like, the greatest drama of all time. The new drama. Extravaganza. You know what I'm saying? Like, a big new drama. I ain't watched drama like those in a long time. You, you guys ever seen Skins? Mwah, beautiful. This is like Skins on bikes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, season 1 of Skins is phenomenal. Season 2 is a little bit... Uh, uh, you know what I mean? But, bro, that's what, I w that's what I would recommend, bro. I think, bro, I, this is my TV pitch meeting. You just follow the story as is, except give the girls way more time and ha let them have their own arcs that in between... All this boy acts just so that you can get and fully capture both male and female audiences attention you know what I'm saying so you you, you have uh, Mia's whole you know uh, fashion story happening and maybe how some some boys try to use her innocence against her and how Minu you know gets into involved in that and and then you have you know the whole situation of her liking uh, Jay and, and then you got you know the introduction of Shelly and then you got the you know what I'm saying you got Vinny in his situation and like all of that stuff man you know what I'm saying you got Dom Kennedy you know what I mean so bro I don't know I feel like there's so much potential man I feel like there's so so much potential you know what I'm saying wait wait sorry not me I've been calling damn it I've been calling her Mia the whole goddamn time uh no that is Mia yeah sorry that is Mia what's Dom's sister's name again Yuna Right, yeah, Yuna. So Yuna in Dom's situation and how you know how she she saw that he's actually a good kid at heart and just wants him to like live up to his potential and have that happening. And you can even have some of the other school kids as protagonists in some arcs, like you know, because you know these shows like Hills and stuff like that. You need a big plethora of characters because it's a long running show. It could last for forever, to be honest post these guys the show can keep going because there's so much stories you can tell within the world of windbreaker right i wouldn't go too overboard and maybe make i wouldn't make it like home and away type shit maybe even though these these are long lasting shows that birthed a lot of careers you know what i'm saying a lot of major careers were birthed from this show so give them motherfucking respect but or neighbors and shit but at the same time i don't think i'd go for that i'd definitely have a limitation i'd end it uh, at a certain point, but you, there's just so many stuff you can tell. Uh, I think I'd end it like season eight, maybe ten seasons, because there's a lot to tell within those ten seasons. And then, you know, from then you can do spinoffs. You can do, you know, the kids that join uh, Vinny and them, you know, in those story and how they're growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, you can birth a whole fucking world that keeps you getting money. Because I know these motherfuckers like that money. So I'm thinking of the economics of it all. It wouldn't be crazy, crazy expensive to do, but you would get so much out of it because you can sell merch. You can sell so much out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? A cartoon probably is best for selling merch. So you can do a cartoon spin-off from the show. You can do so much from the show. You know what I mean? So that's my suggestion. That's my recommendation. That's my TV pitch meeting. It's been your boys. together now. I got friends now. You ain't know, but I got friends now. I'm falling out with my friends now. You ain't know, but I got friends now.